also known as the MDNA for management discussion and analysis. So essentially the MDNA is one of the most important parts of the annual report because it gives information about the company and the industry segment it operates in. So if you know nothing about the company and you want to try and find out okay what does this company really do where do you go you look at the management discussion and analysis in the annual report. It sometimes also talks about the outlook for the economy and the industry in general what are the new changes in the industry that are happening right. So changes in the conditions environment in which the business is being carried out in certain cases also about government regulations etc you can find data around that right. In some cases companies also give something like a SWOT analysis for themselves. What is a SWOT analysis strength weakness opportunities and threat around a company. So at a later point of time you'll probably study about SWOT analysis in more detail but some of the companies actually do that analysis for themselves for the sake of their stakeholders and that is also available in the management discussion and analysis section. Finally performance of the company and the data surrounding that is also kind of discussed again in the MDNA. A lot of the times MDNA is actually combined with the director's report right. However most companies give a separate MDNA section. In some cases you combine it uh, with the director's report in some cases you give it as an annexure to the to the director's report. It is one of the best places to know about the industry. So if someone asks you to do a research on the cement sector all you need to go is find out the top cement companies take their annual reports right. So find out who are the top cement companies take the annual report and read through the MDNA section of all of them you will get enough and more information about the cement industry. The same is true for other companies other industries as well. So that's an important yardstick uh, and that's an important place to kind of find information about a particular industry about a particular segment and hence MDNA becomes important. Sometimes it also gives information which might be relevant for you to kind of gauge how will the company perform over a period of time right. For the purpose of understanding the MDNA we're going to use two different reports obviously we're going to continue our work on the report of Aishar Motors so that we have a completely uh, defined uh, document with us about all the information that is available about the company there but at the same time we'll also look at another company's annual report generally to understand what all do, you know documentation or what all data is actually available in the management discussion and analysis segment right. Let's pick up the first example. We will look at the example of this company called Titan Industries, Titan in India, the watchmaker in India, right? Now Titan actually operates across multiple business segments and their total income in the last financial year grew from 11,000 crore to 11,974 crore. That's the jump in the total sales of the company. Now what are the segments in which Titan is? So one part of the segment is watches which is for what it is completely or most well known which is the watches of Titan but you will note that the watch segment actually contributes only 1900 crore of sales out of about 12,000 crore of sales. So that's roughly about 15 to 16 percent of the revenue coming from the watches segment. So the watches segment provides 15 to 16 percent of the revenue. Where is bulk of the revenue coming from? Bulk of the revenue is coming from the jewelry segment right. Now some of us may not even know about uh, the fact that they sell this much of jewelry which is about 9000 odd crore out of uh, the entire amount which is close to about 79 to 80 percent of the total income coming from the jewelry segment. And then there are some other segments as well for example they are into eyewear as a segment right Titan eye is a is a known brand now in uh, in the country then they are into bags they are into bags and accessories that are available across the spectrum that's however a small segment so the others segment is about four to five percent of the total revenue right now if we knew nothing about Titan or if we had this notion that Titan was only about watches what tells us is that under their brands Tanishq uh, and a couple of others they have essentially the biggest chunk of their sales coming from the jewelry segment. So if something happens to the jewelry segment if something happens to gold prices 
that has a bigger impact on uh, on Titan than something happening to the watches segment, right? In spite of the fact that the most well-known uh, branding of uh, Titan is around the watches segment. In general, we associate Titan more with the watches segment. If you go further into this report, Titan has a very detailed management discussion and analysis segment given where if you actually look at individual segments, they go and talk about the industry, they talk about the economy and they then talk about individual segments and how they have been doing as well, right? I've taken excerpts from that so that we look at some parts.